Greetings, my name is Elias Vic, and welcome to this episode here on the Creset modifier in 3D Studio Max. So let's begin. So for me to show you how this is going to be working, I'm going to have to make a box in my scene to have something to demonstrate it on. Make it into 10 by 10 by 10, and then converting it into an editable poly. And I'm going to then go to the modifier list and add the Creset. And for this to work and show a result, I need to have an open subdiv. And an open subdiv is going to be subdividing the model and sort of rounding it off. So if I increase the iterations, we're going to end up with something that looks sort of like a ball kind of thing. I'm going to change the colors on the ball to show, to make it more visible to you guys. And then I'm going to go back to the preset and talk a bit about what's in here. Now, so it's divided into three sections. We have selection, presets, and then options. So we start from the section tab, which we're gonna be using to select points of our mesh. So if I select uh, ver vertex points, I can select vertex of our scene, and then I can select edges depending on what I have in here. And these are corresponding to one and two in your on your keyboard. Um, all right, so I can select one point and I can grow the selection to add more points from that point on. And if I have the edge tool, I can go ahead and ring loop or select by face angle. Now let's go ahead and select one point here and there and right there. And what you can then do is to turn these selection or, or the selection here into a set, which will be able which we will be using to change and manipulate the model, increasing the edges of it. So down here in the crease sets, we can actually go ahead and create our own sets. Uh, so we're going to name this into something like set one, and then press create set. If I now go ahead and bump these numbers up, you can see that it's going to, going to be affecting the model and sort of extruding those points outwards to, to the boundary box of our mesh. All right, and I can do the same thing now here again. I can go ahead and select edge and select this one there and make this into set two. And the same thing works for this one here. I can sort of crease it outwards to that point. Now, if you have watched my other videos, you might know that I have made another video on just crease. So the crease set is essentially the same kind of tool like that, but it's enabling us to have multiple types of sets for our creases. All right, let's go ahead and add another set by just adding a new part of our mesh and doing that. Cool. Up here we have relative adjust. And that's not going to work, as you can see right now. If I change some, something in here, nothing really happens in our scene. So for this to work, we have uh, to select our sets. And that's going to change parts of the crease on all of these at the same time. What I can also do, instead of manually selecting these, I can press Alt to select all of them, None to select None. And I can then select a point, select a, a set in here, and then press the invert to invert the selection. Cool. Down here we have the open crease explorer, which is going to be a little tab we have to view our creases in our scene. You can enable more detailed information by just pressing the show edge creases and the display objects. And you can then view the objects in here like that. You can also man manually change the type of values that you have in your crease by changing them in here. So I can make this one, and that's going to change the scene and update it. I can also view the count of how many edges I have or how many um, vertex points I have. And you can also see the type that you have in here. All right. Now down here we have crease set display, and this is going to be affecting the colors that you see down here. So if I go into edge mode and zoom in right here, you can see that we have, well, maybe you can't see them because you know YouTube is not really the best source of quality, 
Um, but normally these would be blue, and instead of blue they're green. And I can change them depending on depending on how I want them to look. So I can make this red, blue, green, and probably you can see that it's updating right now. And this is very good for um, being able to identify your creases easily. Same thing goes for the edge. I can change the edge, as you can see right there. I can change the color of that too. If we, if we scroll further down, we have select all nodes, and then we have auto generate. Now select all nodes is working if you have a crease set instance, which will, uh, which I'll be demonstrating now. If I make another box in my scene, let's make this into 15 by 15 by 15 and convert to an editable poly and then add an open subdiv modifier on top of here. Increase the iterations and I'll then go ahead and copy the preset and paste it right in here and drag it down. Now this is going to replicate the same uh, the same crease as we have on the left. Uh, but the function here is that I can select all nodes and that's going to select um, all of the other creases with, which is sharing the same preset. So as you can see now, if I press this, it's going to be selecting that. Pretty cool and pretty nifty. And the last part I recommend that you read about yourself. But we also have the auto generate tolerance and keep existing uh, sets. What this will do is to generate new sets depending on on some values of your um, of your presets. And they can't be zero because that not that's not going to do anything. But if you have if if my understanding is correct, if you have multiple sets in here that share the same value, it's going to combine those parts and make a new set out of them. And you can change settings down here depending on how you want that to work. All right, that's gonna be it for the preset modifier. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Have a nice day and see you soon. Bye.